So, this is going to be a big trip. This is the big trip, in fact, of the year that we were hoping to do. But first, we need to get this thing sorted. Oh, squeeze through it. Hey, here we go. Yeah. That's it, cool. The adventure combo, that's what we wanted. Because of these issues, <laughs> it's one of the things that sort of stopped me doing it. Open, eh? Pull the tab. <laughs> Camera here and accessories here. That's it. That's it. Oh, cool. Selfie stick. There we go. Rinse with clean water to remove sand after usage. Yeah. Well, that is going to be that'll be an interesting test. I'm good at breaking selfie sticks. This one's a good example of that, but uh, <laughs> we see we can tape it together and to make it work, but hopefully we can uh, make this one last a little longer. Feels good though. Hey, oh look, is that a lens? Oh, it's just a lens cover. Oh, it's like a... Sort of protective outer case. Whether I'd use that or not, I'm not sure. Uh, here we go. Uh, I've not used this before, but I'm assuming it just. Oh, it's very magnetic. That's it. Just snaps on, does it? Okay. How do I get it off? I've got to push it in. Yeah, right. Okay. So it snaps on. 
screen seems pretty solid, which I want it to be. Okay, that, that is one of the features I'm pretty pumped about. Look at that. I can take it off and get that underwater shot. Sort of self centers. Oh, it does help to press those in a bit. <sighs> Takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah, bro. Right. And that's clipped on. Way easier than squeezing these plastic tabs, which I've broken many times on many videos. <laughs> Silica gel. Always fun. Alright, this is cool. This should make this a lot more usable straight off the bat for me. So these are batteries. Comes with three batteries in this pack. I've just got to figure out how to open it now and we can get a battery in there. <laughs> that way. Yeah. Let's have another look at that. So the seal is around the very outside. Cool. Just comparing it to see how well it would seal. Yeah, no, there's been a couple of interesting things when I'm going through the menu. Obviously, we've got it set up as we, as we sort of want it now. What's RS stand for? Oh, Rock City. Rock City Plus. Oh, but it crops, okay, it crops the image a fair bit more. Yeah, so that's, oh, that's the dive case that I had on there just to keep uh, one of these cameras, this one, going. But um, still might put it in there, but what I would like to do actually is put this camera on there. Maybe I can just put this mount on because I've got a spare one as well and just have this one on here because the good thing about this camera is this is uh, waterproof to 18 metres, whereas they're only 10 metres. And if I didn't have the dive case on, uh, when I went to like that um, atoll trip, these were k turning off. Well, this is not this one. It was actually this one. I couldn't actually dive down with this one because I didn't have a dive case for it. And what had happened is it wasn't leaking, which is good, but the buttons were depressing when she got past about nine or 10 meters, these buttons would press down automatically and turn the cameras off. So, um, so this one is good for 18 meters. Now, I guess time will tell. Um, the menu system and the touchscreen seems very good. Size is very good. Mounts are very good. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly introduce it because I know a lot of people, when I updated the last one, when I broke the other GoPro and I was a bit uh, annoyed at it, <laughs> A lot of people suggested to go DJI, and I just wasn't quite ready. But now, I think we're ready to take the plunge. But, I'll check back in, especially at certain times, where I say fried this camera. <laughs> and I'll give you updates on how it's going. But I've got a feeling it's going to do very well. But, yeah. So last year, there was a month where I didn't upload, and I sort of just disappeared off YouTube. Because what had happened is I agreed to do this film festival, which was great. It was really fun to do. <laughs> And like you had to go up to the Great Barrier Reef um, and the Outer Reef to sort of compete in it. And I went and well, I went all out in it. But what I sort of didn't count on is the fact that my little boat, the little red boat is what I did it in, might be pretty tricky to do it in. It was very small. A lot of other guys were doing it in like seven meter plus boats and uh, end with a crew of up to five people with an editor and two cameramen and two guys fishing. I did it all solo and I kind of bit a bit more off than I could chew. Uh, all kinds of things happen, crazy decisions, crazy weather, very tough fishing and like events that put me in a position where I was, I was literally, there was one or two moments where I was literally like worried I wasn't going to make it back in. So it was a pretty crazy time and I came back so frazzled, but uh, I've never been able to tell anyone the story or show anyone sort of the places I went. And I went to some amazingly beautiful places. And I've always wanted to show people where I went and what happened. So this is the trip. I think there's a good weather window. We're gonna, we've got everything packed, the jerrys are in and um, the car's sort of ready to go. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna make the drive. The drive is gonna be at least two days solid driving. It's at least 24 hours to get up there. So yeah, we gotta hit the road. I don't know if I'll be able to do the same trip in the same order because I was chasing my tail a lot of the other trip. But hopefully we get a good run and we'll be able to visit the same places and I'll be able to give you the story and a bit of backstory about what happened because it was pretty crazy. It was very, it was very crazy. Just to remind everyone uh, about what made it part of the trip so crazy, this is the new boat. And this is the boat I did the tri original trip in. Pretty much exactly like that. So that's a 3.3 .3 meter inflatable boat. <laughs> so keep in mind everything that happens on this road trip, that was what I did it in. 
and it was intense. <laughs> but it's going to be much, much, much more fun doing it in this boat. I'm very much looking forward to it. Start. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, well, we've driven probably about four and a half hours up the coast, but I'm thinking. I might actually uh, stop here for the night because I've got uh Oh, one second. Let's get out and have a look. Yeah, doesn't seem as windy out here at all, actually. <laughs> Feels pretty good. But is there any water or enough to get up the creek? I've definitely had issues here before. We don't have much in here, but what we do have is some crab bait, an old off bit of pork, <laughs> and an old uh, tailor that I was going to use as a troll bait. I know I did well up on this corner here before, so we'll see if we can get up there. The tide's still ripping out, so we're going to fight the current. We're only just able to move forward on it. <laughs> That's on 10 now, so it's about as fast. Oh, we're moving now. I think the tide's slowing down a little, which is good. Real, super, super shallow. Whoa! <laughs> That's about as far as I think we're going to get, unfortunately. I was hoping to get a bit further in. There we go. Should be alright. Nice little drainage here. So I reckon just at the point of... Just here, it's starting to get pretty muddy as well. Right there. Should be pretty good, because there's a drain there, drain here, and it's getting a lot muddier here. And we'll put one outside as well, and see how we go. Whoops. It's not gonna sit flat-ish. It actually is sitting flat. Yeah, we might just peg that, oh, well, it didn't really go in as much as I want it, but I guess it should be all right. All right. Good luck, crab bots. Let's go back to the car and get a good night's sleep. And hopefully tomorrow morning we'll be having a feast. All right, let's see if we can get up the creek. Because it's going to be tight. <laughs> it's getting very shallow. <laughs> but it looks like there could be a little gap there. Let's see. We'll either sneak through or we'll have to backtrack. 
got through here somehow last, yesterday, <laughs> last night, but I may or may not have hit something with the trolling motor and sheared off the sheer pin. So we had to fix that last night. Emergency bunning strip. Ooh, yeah, no, we're not going to get through. There's deeper water just over here. If we can make the run across, <laughs> we might not be able to. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> So close, <laughs> we're so close. Better watch those. It has been slow going to get to here, but we're finally getting somewhere. There's our first pot just there. Doesn't look like it's sitting very flat now, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's all right, at least we're here. Hopefully, hopefully, we've got a crab in there. Not looking so good right now. <laughs> I can see into the pot, and it looks like there is very little. <laughs> well, that, the world's tiniest crab, not even a mud crab. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. Does this anyone even been eating the pork? It doesn't really look like it. Ah, oh, that's really disappointing. But the other two spots were a lot better than this, so let's not uh, lose hope. Is that like a, the world's tiniest little brim or grunter? There you go, mate. Hey, he's off. Well, you're definitely not the target species, unfortunately. Cool looking, though. See you later, mate. I wonder if we're going to get something in this one. It's not looking too flash, but uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, these two spots do better because they did do better last time when I was with Taku. So, really hoping. <laughs> Let's just leave that there. Okay, we'll do this pot first. It's definitely gotten a lot shallower. Please, 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 please. We stopped here specifically to do this. <laughs> Any luck? Oh, we've got something. Okay, we've got something. Oh, we've got one crab. Those claws aren't looking that big, though. One big crab and one little crab. Are we talking... What are we talking here? Ah, oh, unfortunately, it's a female. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. Because that is not a bad-looking crab. Oh! Look at that. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Come here. Come here. Okay, gotcha. Well, not bad. Oh, she's lost an eye in there by the looks of things. But uh, yeah, good looking crab, but unfortunately a uh, female, so we'll have to let it go. I'll put you back in. That is a bummer though, because that is a beautiful looking crab, that's for sure. If only, huh? If only. Well, it's all down to the last pot then, unfortunately. So we'll go and check it out. Oh, we'll get you out as well. Come on, in you go. That one's a male. <laughs> yeah, right, but that's not even, that's not a mud crab, that's a different type. See you later, buddy. Here we go, last pot. I know we like to keep me in suspense. Oh, it's not looking good at all. Nothing, not even a little crab. Oh. Well. That's no good. I was really confident to get those crabs, to be honest, because we did so well last time. We were, we, we were chucking crabs back. There was that many. But, yeah, not today. All right, well, I guess we'll continue on the road trip. We'll quickly pack these up. 
Uh, that's been a lot of effort uh, for a little gain, actually. I'm really bummed about that. And I haven't really seen any floodies or anything taken off as I sort of motor up here, so I'm not really that keen to fish it. The next video will be a lot more epic than this, uh, hopefully, and fish-wise, yeah, definitely. So <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one.